Okay, we need to go find some weapon molds, if possible. Hopefully no Imperials will try to ambush us here again. Oh look, another Ley Lines location. Unclaimed Teleporter is now attuned to Sorox Village. Good. Wait, can we not actually go north though? No, we cannot. We have to grab the molds and I guess never come back. Okay, so I have no idea what these weapon molds look like, but if we split up and look for the wreckage, this will go much quicker. Good thinking, Luna. The sooner we find these molds, the sooner we can leave this place. Look at all the holes in the floorboards. Even went for the brick. <laughs> Flooring, somehow. I feel like we shouldn't be here. Too many souls have been lost here. Yeah. Let's hurry, then. I don't think we, he made it out of here. There's blood behind the counter. I know it's his. I can't look at it. Find these molds quickly, please. I want to get out of here. I'm not so sure how I feel about digging through the belongings of a dead man. Brahmin, forgive me. This stuff is all busted. Hope bringing Minerva here wasn't a mistake. I can't help but think we could have stopped the soldiers and blood ma <laughs> magi from destroying this place. Then again, the only reason we're still alive is because we weren't here when all that hell broke loose. Blood. They kill him and stuff him into the cabinet? Nothing here. Armor and jewelry here is all burnt and worn out. I already talked to you. None of this stuff looks usable. I don't think we're going to find those molds here. That's not good. Now what? So, now what? We're going to have to go back to the Elder and Treno and let him know we couldn't find anything. This could put a major hamper on creating those weapons. Well, I guess we'll just have to see what he says when we get there. Come on, let's go. This, that was kind of fruitless. Don't we just create molds based on our current weapons? I feel like that would also be a good option, right? Oh good, this one does update correctly. Now it says to return to Treno. Which I can do due to the ley line. Alright. Like, that's all we can do for now. Hello, Elder. From the looks of your faces, the search for the bolts wasn't successful. We found absolutely nothing but destruction and trash in that armory. What are we supposed to do now? Hmm. Can't we just make ones based on our current weapons? Is it that difficult? We will have to find somebody to make us the weapon molds. I never really made an attempt to get to know any smiths, so I am useless here. Actually, I know who might be able to help us. Who? Our good bomb-making friend, Tito. That's actually a good idea. I can't stand how perfectly handsome and smart you are, Tito. We're going to make a beautiful couple someday. How could I forget? Tito has that crazy little lab under his shop. I'm sure he can whip us up some weapon molds after a few fetch quests. We just- we know just the man that might be able to help us, Elder. Ah uh, yes. I'm familiar with that name. Wonderful. Will you be heading that way now? Yes, we might as well get to it and not waste any time. Okay, well, you go and do that and I'll inform Jarl of the situation. Okay, Elder, we'll see you soon. No, that's it for now, huh? 
What if I try to go back down here? Oh, I can skip. Good. Well, there shouldn't be any more encounters here anyway. I'm making sure the forge is good to go for when you come back with all the required materials. Why are his ears pointy? Hmm. Oh shoot, is there no way to skip out of it though? Release us! Still there's- wait a minute, the text is still going? Shoot. We're still gonna have those creepy words every time I go in here. Brahmin has forsaken us. Don't tell me these words just respawn every time I enter and exit this place. That's kind of messed up. Yeah, there's no skip back function. That really... That seems kind of counterintuitive. Is there a reason for that? Alright, let's see what Tito has to say. He's in the lab. Maybe. Oh, hello there, old friends. What brings you back here to see this rusty old man? Hey, Tito, it's good to see you. We were actually wondering if you were familiar with making weapon molds. Weapon molds? That's cute. Excuse me? I think it'll be easier to show you. Huh? You ready to be shocked and awed by my greatness? Uh... Sure? Not the answer I hoped for, but good enough. Another secret passage? Another secret lab under your secret lab? You bet. Come on down. I think you're going to like what you find. Who the hell even is this guy? This is really high-tech looking. So, how do you like it? I'm not sure if I should be impressed or afraid. This is only a little on the crazy- this is a little on the crazy side, don't you think? So it's definitely a bit of both. So, this weapon mold thingy you need. Explain to me the specifics. Well, in a nutshell, we have a friend who is going to make us some very powerful weapons. We need a weapon mold for each of the types of weapons that we use. I see. I see. And how exactly are these weapons being molded? Are we talking metal? Plastics? Wood? Chemicals? Uh... Well... That's a little confidential. I need to know the details or I won't be able to make you the right molds. Souls. We're using souls. Souls?! Wild ellipses there. Hmm. What's he looking for? Aha! Yes. Yes. I got it. I can do it. Really? Yes, that should, it shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. I mean, I've never made weapon molds that create weapons out of souls, but I can't imagine it being too hard, you know? That's great news, Tito. Thank you so much. Sure thing, friends. This will take me a while. So, you may want to go do whatever it is you people do and then come back to see me in a few days. A few days? Yep, that's what I said. Fair enough. Do you need us to fetch you anything? Money? Essence? Parts of dead animals? Souls? Goodness, woman, don't be so volatile. I think I got everything I need, but thank you. Come back in a few days and I'll have these sexy molds all ready for you, okay? Okay, Tito. Thanks again, man. Sure thing. Don't mention it. Like, seriously though, don't mention it. To, like, anybody. Okay. Okay, we should go back to China and see what else we can g go collect while we wait for the molds to be made.
Might as well steal his stuff for now. Why is there gold there? Ah, excess purple grapes. So I never ever seem to use them. Really, the, the the items I mainly use in battle are MP and TP. The MP and TP increasing potions. This means I won't be able to rest in this area. Huh. Can I still buy stuff from you? No. Oh well, so I can teleport back to other settlements pretty easily, so it's not t too big a deal if he can't sell me anything. Plus, most of the stuff is outdated. Oh look, another ley lines location! Okay, with that, I can go back to Treno. But I still can't complete that last side quest. Also, where are all my... Uh, uh, wonder where the final party conversations will take place. I'm really eagerly anticipating it so that I can get the achievement. Yeah, no party uh, conversations in this area, I guess. Better talk to the mayor, uh, Elder. Good news, our Elder. Our friend is able to create us some new weapon molds. He says it'll take a couple of days, so we figure we'll, we get a jump start on the next item on the list. That is wonderful news. Next item I will need from you is called Runic Catalyst 3. Each weapon will require three of these items, so I need you to get me 15. Okay, cool. Those things we are familiar with. Good. Come back and talk to me once you've collected 15. How many do I have right now? Hmm, exactly 15. We have 15 Runic Catalyst 3. You lot are very resourceful. Good work. Thank you. So, what else do you need us to go fetch? The next one is going to be a bit trickier and will require you to get your hands dirty. How dirty? Okay, go on. The core region of these weapons are, as you already know, souls. I feared that was the case, but I can't help but think, to think of how evil that sounds. You're right in that, in a way, we are doing something that can be seen as evil. This is why we are very selective of the souls that we use for this process. What kind of souls do you use? Souls of the wildlife that has been tainted by the darkness. I see. These creatures have lost what made them truly alive. The souls we gather from them are already fragmented and broken, so in a way, we're doing them a favor. That still sounds immoral. But I can see your justification. How do you even collect your souls? I mean, we've slaughtered hundreds of creatures on our journey. Over a hundred battles. I don't really remember ever seeing a soul, you know, pop out of them. It's because you don't have this yet. Soul horn. If you blow this horn after slaying an enemy, its soul will be pulled into the horn. This is how we collect souls for our special armaments and rituals. So... This is the boring part where we have to go grind out a bunch of battles with monsters to collect enough souls to make our weapons. Well, I figured, let's knock out two birds with one stone instead. What do you mean by that? You all came through Piatra City to get here, correct? Correct. How many Imperial dogs roam the city? I don't know. A few dozen, maybe? What do you think about gathering a few of your Magi friends from the, that Enclave place and a few of my Trino Guardians and running those bastards out of the city? Wait! That means we can be using human souls, not monster souls. Wow, are you serious? You bet I'm serious. The Empire has its cronies located all over the damn place, and I say it's time we kick them out. I love this idea, but we're taking human souls this time. Is that alright with you guys? Sure, the Empire is really nasty, and their humanity has become questionable after all they've done, but still. After my amazing acting debut, you want us to kill off my first few fans? Your fans are Imperial soldiers, Trish. Get a hold of yourself. Easier for you to say because you don't have any fans. Clear's throat. Anyways, I'll let the Trino Guardians know of our plan. Go and speak to your people in the Enclave 
and we'll get this party started. You got it, Elder. We'll be back real soon. Aw. Oh. Have to reclaim Piatro. At least this will allow me to finish off that one quest. So there is an upside to it. I feel like I'm getting my priorities a little wrong. Alright, first save first. Time for another meeting! Alright, the Supremes are not to be disturbed. Uh... What? That was weird. I'm very pleased to see you have all returned to us safely once again. I hope that your journey to find your friends turned out to be fruitful. It turned out even better than that. Oh, is that so? You bet. <laughs> Murray tells the Supreme Soul of the Soul Forge, the Treno Guardians, and the plan to take back Piatro City. Aha! You've all been busy. Well, allow me to proudly say that we are completely on board with helping you reclaim Piatro City. That's what I like to hear. Will you be be able to co contribute to this mission. I'm glad you asked. Have you noticed the Sentinels stationed all over the Enclave? Yeah. The ones we have stationed here are programmed for more defensive fighting. Within a, with a few tweaks, we create Sentinels that can help you out on the battlefield. That sounds absolutely amazing. I'm glad you think so. Take this to Demetrius in the Magi, Re in the Magi Research Center and he will begin the preparations. Work orders. Once you've taken care of that, return to Treno and let your friends know that we will send a signal when we are ready to advance with the mission. You got it. Thank you so much, Raku. The pleasure is mine, Luna. The Empire will fall, one piece at a time. Okay, in here I believe. Supposed to talk to you? Hello there. What brings you to the Magi, uh, Magi Research Center? Supreme Raku sent uh, us here to give you this. Work orders. <laughs> Battle Sentinels? I've been asking for the chance to make one of these for ages. This will be my greatest work yet, I promise you. The work orders order calls for four Sentinels. Will that be enough? Oh dear. What's the matter? Well, ever since the Enclave retracted their <laughs> Magi spies from the towns and cities around the world, we've been pretty short on a few materials. What do you need? We need Rune Essence and a large amount of it. Each Sentinel is going to take at least 500, so we need 2,000. Obsidian orbs. Wait a minute. Those rocks from the desert. Where do we get those? Our very own Mirage Oasis. This is quite a fetch quest. I take a dark and gloomy dungeon over the oasis again, if I'm being completely honest. I know. I know. Lucky for you, they're typically found fairly close to the portal to the enclave, so you won't have to go too far in. I suppose that makes things a little better. Okay, well, you're going to need a pickaxe to mine those orbs. We've got one right here. Silly humans are silly weak metals. Here, hand me that pickaxe for a second. So you're gonna upgrade it, just gonna make a small modification to it. There we go. Now this is a pickaxe. Magic tipped pickaxe. Okay, now go into the Mirage Oasis and get me 12 obsidian orbs, 2,000 rune essence, and then come back and see me, okay? You got it. How many rune essences do I have right now? Not much. This could take a while. I'll just focus on getting the orbs first. Bad news! Enemies in the desert do not run away from me even though I'm at level 19 right now. Even though I'm obviously badass enough to kill them all. Alright. 
Guess I'll have to do this the hard way. With stealth. That should be it for this screen, right? Get out of my way! Yeah. I need 20 or so? I think... Might as well explore every dead end. Yes, that's the best way. I wish to be left alone. Oh, he did make it all the way out here! That's a nice touch and short continuity. Now let's see, more stones... Collect all the obsidian orbs we need. Let's return to the Enclave. That's it? Gah. Be right back. How's the search for those obsidian orbs coming along? We've got all of them right here. And the 2000 rune essence? We've got that too. Great work. All of you. I'll start creating the sentinels right away. How long do you think it'll take to have them ready? Because they're made out of magic, it doesn't take long at all. A few hours at most. I'll send a messenger your way when they're good to go. Great, thank you. Uh, what else are we supposed to do? Probably... Should we go see the Elder? What should we do while we wait? Can we go visit my dad? He's staying over at the hostel the last time I checked. Sure, why not? Great, let's go. Hey, teleport. Glad we don't have to fight the sentinels ourselves. You've come back. How was your trip to Treno? It was good. That place is as beautiful as I remembered. I have not been keeping up with everything else you are all up to. What do you have next on your agenda? You wouldn't believe how far the resistance is coming along. When we went to Treno, hashtag the resistance. Minerva tells Elder Jaibo about everything that has happened. The, the time has come. The resistance is truly going to take the fight back to the Empire. It brings me great pride to know that my daughter is playing an integral role in this feat. The whole thing wouldn't have begun if it wasn't for Luna and Damien. The honor belongs to them. Thank you, Minerva. I'm just speaking the truth. Have you shared the news with Miranda? Speaking of Miranda, we haven't seen her since we left for the Twilight Temple. Do you know where she's at? I haven't seen her here either now that you mention it. She might be working on some sort of mission for the Supremes. Yeah, you're probably right. I hope she didn't get captured. Well, make sure to tell her all about this the next time we see her. Hello there. Magi Research Researcher Demetrius awaits you within the Enclave Mag uh, Magi Research Center. Looks like the Sentinels are ready. I almost thought I was an enemy. Ugh. Perfect timing. Alright, Father, we'll be back later, okay? Be safe, my daughter. And give those Imperial bastards hell. Oh, you know it. Uh, f fire wielding triplets. Down. In this building that has a some kind of broken coin symbol on it. I should save first in case they immediately start the mission. I'm sure you already saw Sentinels out in the lobby. What do you think of them? I'm pretty excited to see them on the battlefield. I'm sure they're going to be a huge help out there. You bet they will be. Supreme Raku says we will begin the preparations for a mission and send word to you once we are ready. Go back to your friends in Treno and tell them that we will be joining you all shortly. You got it. Thank you. Okay. Now to the teleporter. Huh. Elder's home. Welcome back, everyone. I hope your trip back to the Enclave proved to be useful. 
You're going to be so excited to see the super awesome robot things they made for us. Robots? They created four battle sentinels for us to use. Interesting. There are these giant magical constructs that the Enclave uses as a defense mechanism, but they built new, uh, a new combat prototype for us to use on our mission. Gacho City will be freed from the Empire soon enough. I will spare you four of my channel guardians for your mission. They should be more than enough to handle the numbers you report in Piatro City. Just out of curiosity, Elder, what do the colors of your Trino guard wear mean? You have a first for knowledge, Damien. I can appreciate that. The colors the Trino guardians wear reveal the power or powers they were able to unlock via the Soul Forge ritual process. These Trino guardians in particular can control the earth in one way or another, hence their earthly orange color. I see. That's an interesting way to do it. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome, Damien. Any other questions before your Enclave friends reach out and we get this mission on a roll? Were you a Trinal Guardian before you got all old and wrinkly? Yes. That I was. Every elder of this town was once a Trinal Guardian. How did you become the elder of this town? I was the most powerful Trinal Guardian of my time. Every Trinal Guardian has a chance to become the next elder, but only the most powerful gets to wield the title of elder. Wow. So you must have been amazing when you were younger. I will not brag about my accomplishments, but I was a force to be reckoned with in my youth, that's for sure. Elder! A message from the Enclave has arrived. Operation Liberate Piatro is ready to commence. Thank you, Ziyun. Very well then. Are you ready to go? Let's go kick some Imperial ass! That's the spirit. Here it comes. I have no idea how this liberation will work. Anything to report? No, sir. Why are we even guarding the south entrance to the city? There's literally nothing but desert south of here. It makes no sense. It's a direct order from Magister Zarite. We are not to question it. Just do your damn job. So the Imperials are still are now under the control of the blood, ma uh, uh, Magi. That's one slow moving arrow. We're under attack! They can teleport! That uh, that makes up for a huge size a bit, I guess. What in the hell? No! Eliminate threat! The coast is clear! Great work, everybody! We're just getting started! Once we make it into the city, the Eternal Guardians will focus on the indoor locations. You and your party and the Sentinels should take care of soldiers that are outdoors. You got it. Just give us a signal and we'll do our part. Affirmative. Let's go, Eternal Guardians. You all ready to take back the city? These Empire dogs are going down. Same. I mean them. Them going down. Not me. Like... Same thing Rita said. Ugh. Just for guys anything. What pleasure. I hope our victory here sends a message to the Empire that we're not messing around. Let this be the first step in reclaiming our world and putting a stop to these murderous barbarians. Let's do this. Hope there's no friendly fire and the Guardians accidentally attack us or something. Whoa! They have a lot of hit points, don't they? What should I do? What should my first move be? Hmm. Probably want to take care of the green one as quickly as I can. Fury. Smoke bomb, because we're kind of low on TP. Slow down the Imperial officer so I can steal some TP. Why run strike? If 
Divine Aegis. Mass Prayer. When are these soldiers learned any new moves at all? Spear of Power. Let's turn on the speed. Radiance. Holy Fire! Invoke! Shoot, now I can't use my stasis yet. Oh well. I'll do what I can. Drain, get some TP back. Alright. Let's see. Anyone need an Aqua Chi yet? No? Then let's just sell for mastery for now. Windy Tantra. Shatter Armor. Poison Chief. Okay, good. The soldiers can only do one. S the, the weaker ones can only do one action per turn. Body Slam. Shadow Slice. Ow. Wait a minute, that one moved tw uh, again? I guess they do move tw I don't know. Hmm. Barrage 4. Wait, actually, since Minerva's about to use her... Spe uh, her ult team of spell, I should target a an Imperial Soldier. So I can knock out some more with the AoE move. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Let's stasis. Darkness falls. Overcharged. I don't want to spend too much TP, so let's just go with Ultima right now. In the end, you'll know true pain. Now she's crazed again. Win Chi. That was per soul fragment, so we really are getting uh, 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 souls for killing them, huh? Horrified lover vest of crit evasion. I already have one, but is this one bad? Uh, is it worth it? Eh, uh, why not? The defense could be useful against the next boss. Huh. Be right back, this is the same battle. Can manage to knock out yet another one. Hmm. Check out that fortified lever vest again. Hey, this was actually an all around increase. Nice. Hmm. Any skills I can use? No. Not yeah, I, I need 700 AP to get the next uh, potential upgrade. Hmm.
Okay, time to continue. They have no commander. Huh. Interesting. Okay, now we get attacked by the next batch. Oh, there's two officers this time. That's an odd pairing. Be right back. Okay, maybe I should win this one. Let's see, maybe that Mithril Plate Helm would be good. Nope. Not good enough. Alright, then I better save one last time. Okay, time to continue. The final group is here. You dare stand against the might of the Empire? Not much left standing, is there? <laughs> Don't be coy with me, you freak-loving slime. Oh shoot! These two are way too slow. I may have to go to the rune crafting shrine to s and try to find a way to. No, can't even access the rune crafting shrine at this point. Shoot! They're too sl Those two are way too slow. You more so no one to give up, do you? you? Must be adamant about joining the rest of these dead soldiers in hell. Let's not keep it waiting then. I should have Luna save her agility debuffer for when he does a big attack. Bring it on! That would be the wisest choice. That way I'll be able to have everyone guard beforehand. Clearly that is what I should do. Very. Okay. Let's see. Wyvern Strike. Wyvern Strength is mine. Find Aegis. Fear of Power. Endure. We will not die. Mass Prayer. I can't target him, but it's probably best to take out the soldiers first. Invoke. Metastasis. Blood Burst. Ah! It's really strong. Shit. You may have to soul trigger early. Bro, I'm already sitting at 20, huh? Nature for the win. Damn. We're already in a bad spot. Okay. Defense down. Poison. I don't want to waste my body slam until I, mean, I really need it. Embrace. Vitality. Protection Aura. Now let's just silently build up some ch stacks. Ugh. Critical focus. Barrage. Mass prayer. 
Radiance. Hey. Smite. Let's see. Blood Pact. First touch. Darkness falls. Overcharged. Ultima. Raised up again. Ah. Damn. Ugh. Hey, flaming chi, huh? Uh, dampen magic just for a hell of it. Okay. Should we use Berserk Stance then? Slice. Uh. Raining arrows. No, I should use Wyvern Strike to build up my TP. There. Mystic Light! Mass Prayer! Smite! Build Power of Light! Uh. Darkness Falls! Drain MP and TP from one enemy. Praise envelops me. Aha. There's one of you now, so I should just switch to a different Tantra. Do this one real quick. Guy and tight. Winchy. Damn. It's not messing around. Uh, obliteration. I feel some pain. Booyah! He's not using any special moves yet. Huh. Weird. At least for now I should... Wait for this to go back up, huh? Cripple shot. Lower his attack. That will make his damage a little more manageable. Get my barriers back up. You're not getting over this barrier. Heh. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a Zero no Kiseki joke. 
Anyways. No need to purify, just smite for now. Take this, darkness! Overcharged. However, she lost her metastasis, so I may want to hold off on that for now and just use vampirism. He has yet to show his true c uh, uh, power. We're, okay. Hmm. Oh. Nature's bounty. It's a bit too soon for that, isn't it? I'll. S I should probably save my uh, so my soul trigger for when he starts doing his big move. Yeah. Or should I do it now? Hmm. I mean, then I can use Nature's Bounty later. Nature for the win! Alright, win Chi. Hmm. It does not have any stacks right now, shoot. Wound! Don't get cocky! Wait a minute! I recognize that move! Where'd you learn that? It was taught to me by none other than General Armand. What's it to you, ma uh, mage I synthesizer? General Armand? That's the monster that took my wife and kid! Ah uh, yes, I know who you are. You're that fool who left the Empire to live with a devil-worshipping witch! You shut your damn mouth! Ahaha! <laughs> well, I'll finish what we started years ago. You'll be seeing your dead family soon enough. You'll regret those words, you bastard. Warrior of Rage. This class has access to one more accessory slot and the powerful instinct ability. What does it do exactly? Hmph. You learned. You learned quick. It's no surprise to me now why you were so revered as a fighter before you turned to a traitor. No matter, I'll deliver your head to the Empress myself. What the heck is instinct? Attack and agility are increased. All attacks except obliterate will add three stacks of bloodlust. Huh. In other words, I don't- he's not doing his red aura yet, so I assume he's not using his biggest attack just now yet. I should just continue to do what I've been doing so far. Save slow for when I truly need it. Alright. Hunter's Mark. And then... Barrage! <sighs> what do I need? Mass Prayer! Sphere of Power! Alright. Holy Fire! Metastasis! My, my costs are really high now, but that's fine. Ultima 4. Prepare for ultimate destruction. Damn! He gets four actions per round now? Holy crap! This is really bad! I still have my- I, there's no need to use our soul trigger yet. I need to continue doing what I've been doing. I need a solar tantra so I can deal a little bit more damage. Kill this guy before he kills me kind of thing.
I don't. I would need to. Does that even have a red aura attack? Hmm. Yeah, I think I should just use by slam anyways. Wait, do I still have Berserker Stance? I don't think so. Hmm. But with Instinct, I can recharge quickly anyways. So I might as well. Okay, now I can obliterate you. Probably won't do as good damage as it could, but... I'll take advantage of this instinct buff while I can. Okay. Slow you down for now. Why run strike? This guy's getting really powerful. Find Aegis, Rayer. Radiance. Mystic Light. Now I shall smite thee. Feel the power of light. You cannot invoke yet. Hmm. Blood Burst. Alright. Yeah, let's not waste my soul trigger just yet. For now... Hey, anyone need T MP yet? No? Good. Let's w use a winchy. Every okay, I'm still in, in killer instinct mode, so... Let's go ahead and, uh, Vitality. Keep everyone healthy. Now I shall wound you. Ah. I don't think I'm gonna let you win so easily. Let's see you cast your magic now, devil worshippers. Bastard. This is why you need to have power potions. Damn. Oh, pulling out all the stops, huh? First off, elixir of power on Luna. Let's see what I can do from here. Iron Strike! Yes, bring Elixir of the Power to this battle. That is the key to surviving his last gambit. Smite! Hold on, I think there's a status effect I need to watch out for. Something's wrong. Sinister Smog, MP cost rate increased by 25%. Huh. How many charges do you have right now? I need to get more MP so I can continue using Blood Pact. Yes. 
All right. Invoke. Dark Blast. Overcharge. And Crazed. Our Soul Trigger ran out. Let's just reapply it real quick. Sadly, Soul Trigger does not do anything about MP and TP. Yep. This is why you have to go to each boss battle with a ton of items if you want to survive. Give him some TP to work with. Okay, Winchy. Obliterate or I'm so glad I bought so many of these. And now we'll have an excuse to get the achievement for making power potions too. Okay. Now we can really obliterate you. Will this actually deal with finishing blow? Probably not, but I can always try. Ah! Oh no! Trish! Well, no matter. You will not survive this next barrage so easily. Aha! So close! I'll smite you! Sure should be Ryudo dealing the finishing blow, but I want to be sure of my victory. Soul fragment and some random gear. Now we can go to the casino again. The city has been liberated of the Imperial Presence. The mission was a success. I can't believe we actually did it with such a small group. The Empress is going to be so mad when she hears about this. I hope she pops a few blood vessels in that evil head of hers when she does. That's assuming she's still alive. We'll send word back to Elder Krillin over in Treno, and a few of us will remain behind to help repair the city. Report to our allies in the Enclave. I think it'll be a good idea to leave the Sentinels here for now, just in case. Big call, Luna. Let's go report to the Supremes and see what to do next. Will you report to the Elder once the Un your visit to the Enclave is complete? Yes. We will go back to Treno as soon as we can. Very well. May Brahmin be with you all. Okay, everybody. Let's go share the great news. I'm at a loss for words on how to express just how happy and impressed I am with your work over in Piatro City. I think that a small group could liberate a city full of <laughs> Imperial so soldiers is no ordinary feat. It felt good to show those bastards that they started a war with the wrong people. I hope Azale and his blood-guzzling maniacs realize what they're up against, too. Which brings me to the next subject. Will you mind, Jinzo? Surfing, Raku. Is that the uh, Jinzo, the one who prevents you from activating traps? I don't bore you with the de uh, minute details, so get straight to the point. We believe that Azale and his blood... Magi have infiltrated the Enclave. What? How? Is everything okay? Are we safe here? You need not worry. We have re-secured re the whole Enclave. Nobody but those with authority to use the Enclave teleporters can come in or out of at this point. Who was it? How did you find out that they were here? It was Miranda! She must have been possessed! Those fiends. They tricked us all, all of us. They got into the Enclave by sneaking in through Miranda's body. Miranda? 
Sirox Village. That blood mad, uh, the blood magi who saved her. I should have known. What exactly happened here while we were gone? Well, soon after you all left, I tried not to speak to the elder there. Miranda came about inquiring about Cosmos. We fought nothing off it. Miranda had, has always been one of our most trusted spies, and her curious mind has always been one of her strongest assets. She said she wanted to study the relic to see if we could learn more about its power. We of course gave her permission to enter a sacred vault of the Enclave to study the relic. Many hours had passed and we heard nothing from her, so we went to go check on her, and when we went, got to the vault, both she and the relic were gone. It must have been just like what happened with Zarite. What does that have to do with Azale? How do you know he was a part of this? Because she left us this note. Bloodstained Parchment. Speaks, if you're wondering, Miranda's uh, suffer, uh, suffering is immense. Soon the world will feel her pain. Bring me Minerva and I'll spare this wretched world. Refuse, and I'll show you what devastation your precious cosmos can bring. Luna softly places her hand on Minerva's slumped shoulder. Did, she, did he say where he wanted to do the exchange? What are you planning? There's no way we're going to give him what he wants. We never said we were going to. Let's not forget that we were in the middle of creating ourselves some very powerful weapons over in Treno. If I recall correctly, when you told us about the powers of a Supreme, you mentioned one key thing that I think you're all forgetting about. As the new Supreme comes to power, the current one loses theirs. He's getting weaker. As Minerva's power words grow and manifest as a Supreme, his powers wane. If that bastard dares to fight us with Minerva and our new weapons, we will crush him like a bug. But he has Miranda as a hostage! Even so, I think you underestimate the sort of power Azale wields. After all, he killed all of the other Supreme Candidates, but you aren't completely wrong either. I don't know what uh, the, that devil plans to do with Cosmos, but I don't care to find out either. We will need to come up with a solid plan though. There's too much at risk here. Good, because we're not backing down. Fair enough. I suppose if our plan is going to work, you'll we'll need to make sure you complete these special weapons you speak of. Return to Trino and do everything you can to create those weapons as fast as possible. We will come up with a plan to deal with Azale. There's so much at stake here, and we do not have much time to spare. I truly hope we can jump into action before he does anything crazy. We'll do what we can. We expect you will too. Very well then, Luna. We'll do whatever we can as well. Okay, everybody, let's go back to China and get these weapons made. Damn, he really... I knew there was something wrong with Miranda the moment she didn't show up. Ugh. They had to slop out my stuff, huh? Shoot. Which one should be would be the best one? Delta Bracers, would that be any good for him? After all, it's kind of redundant on Luna who already has Ring of Souls and high crit rate to begin with. Anything interesting to say? Word is that Liberate P Operation Liberate Piatra was a success. I'm glad the Combat Sentinels were a part of that. That's it. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this Let's Play of Eternal Twilight, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.